good morning from St. Lucie, Florida. Clover Park, home of the St. Lucie Mets, and spring training facility for the New York Mets. Gary Carter and Jesse Orozco. Steel from the World Trade Center. And a plaque commemorating opening day of this complex, March 5th, 1988. Piazza off in the background there. I'm gonna start the day inside the team store. Scherzer, baby. Lots of spring training things. Jerseys, including Scherzer. Back in black. DeGrom. All the hats you can need. Spring training hats. Beanie Babies, Bobbles, Water Bottles, Spring Training Shirts, The Amazing Mets. You know why they call them The Amazing Mets? Because they're amazing. The practice fields are off in the other direction, but closed off for visitors today. Yeah, this happened over here though. day was yesterday. And while we wait for the stadium to open, you can hear them hitting around inside. So we found some shade, the only shade, mind you, I think, outside without needing to go back to the car for a little bit. Uh, the fields are not open for, for fans to walk around. The team store was awesome. We literally shopped next to Dominic Smith who had three handlers walking with him and, you know, just kind of shopped hats while giving him the acknowledgement of hello hey. and hello back, but uh, <laughs> I didn't ask for a picture, but I did ask for a picture with Howie Rose, put it in the books right outside the team store. Yep. That was super, super freaking cool for me. And now we're sitting here amongst legends waiting for the doors. 10 minutes to doors and the crowd gathers. Got giveaways. Thank you. Oh, it's a koozie. Okay, Icy cold beer, pile of water. Hey! We're going to get a Bud Light. Forget about it. Yeah. What else, my friend? Um, I guess I'll get a Bud Light also. Oh, we're doing two Bud Lights. Water. Cold beer. Ice cold beer. Heading in. Beer, They're filming us, we're filming them. Here we are. Mets hats. He wasn't lying, this is a super cold beer. Oh boy. You get to carry that around all day. I know. All right, so here's the lineup for today. We basically have the opening day starting lineup just about for the Mets here. Pete Alonzo playing. We got his autograph yesterday. We're still walking on air. And uh, David Peterson on the mound. Left-handed pitcher. Desperately in need for the Mets as basically everybody that we have is a right-handed pitcher from starters to relievers. This is what we're looking at. And this is the updated spring training schedule. David Wright and Jose Reyes. Big pizza slice guy, not here. The kid in the coos. Walking out to the Budweiser Terrace. Our seats are right down there, 17 row B. Look at the clubhouse. Matt out here warming up. First dog of the season, make it Nathan's. Hot dog is delicious, but you can see practice fields back there. You cannot get into them during spring training games. 
very different than what we experienced yesterday while we were at the ballpark of the beaches for the Nationals, where all of this was wide open. The Jim Beam Bourbon Bar out in right field. You can get your voodoo buckets here. Here's the view just beyond the bar. And unlike many of the stadiums in the Grapefruit League, you can't walk around the entire outfield. You need to make a U turn to get into right field. Autograph hounds getting players to sign. Made out to right field. To the beach house. Look at these tables out here. We have not done it before. This is the spot for foul balls too. You can get seats on the berm. We were supposed to be there for opening day of spring training with the seven line. We had this wide open area for standing and the berm. AKA where I get a massive sunburn every year. We're sitting in the seats this year. Bound to get a massive sunburn over there too. One bucket coming up. First bucket of the year. Such a lovely flower arrangement. The view from our seats. I'll say I got, I got one pen and Lindor out on the field. Cano. And Aguano Escobar. Six-year-old veteran. Oh my God! Yeah! yeah I'm not the polar sure bear is here. They're not my seats. There are Yeah, that's me. I saw the shirt. <laughs> We're from Howell. Oh, you're from Howell. Okay, that's all you. Thank you. Mark. 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 McNeil playing catch uh, with the polar bear. I don't know, I couldn't style it. Everything is happening right in front of us. What's up, bro? Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. See around this gentleman here. How fast he's throwing. Pretty sure I can hit that. Awesome. Francisco coming over. No way, dude. Austin, awesome. make sure nobody. I got my arm underneath. So I got my arm underneath. Austin, just give him a pack. I, I, it's crushing my arm. I don't. Brandon Nemo signing over there. We're warming up here. Lefties in the house. Your 2022 New York Mets.
First pitch, foul it off. It's a Cardinal Stinger! That guy's gonna be a star. They moved him to third to go to the outfield. Carlson. That's why I hate him. Rounding the bases. Feeling the accolades. He's gonna be a star. Chips in those way. Let me tell you. Which former Mets player did retire number 31 belong? Which first baseman won both local awards in 11 consecutive seasons? Keith Hernandez? Yeah, I deal directly with him. What was the first year you went to the Mets? That's nine. That's nine. 2004, 2009, 2011. 2009. Right, so we've got four questions for us. What's happening? He's got a prize. We're going to give him the prize. Congratulations. You didn't get the fifth question right. It's a slice of pizza! First pitch. Oh, goodness. Way to wait on the first pitch. It's Jeff McNeil Guy. McNeil Guy with the shot up the middle. Oh, not. Mets up three up, three down. Love you. Um, you Polar bear at the plate. Woo. Oh! oh. oh okay. It's a foul. Calm down, everybody. Here we go. Oh, God, dude. If it was any slower, I have, I have it would be on a conveyor belt. You need to talk to me and tell me nothing. Three and two To the polar bear. Ball four. Ball four. Here comes a dinger. Did you Cano? No. Long's right third and up to bat. James, don't call me Tom McCann. We're zooming in, but I don't think that those are Buster Brown shoes that he's wearing. One run scores. Single. Another Cardinals dinger for Goldschmidt. Lindor with a lazy throwing error. Nathan's fries. It's the top of the fifth, 78 degrees, but it feels like we're sitting on the sun. Brandon Nimmo up. Oh. And it's the same contract that everyone else in the Oh. Fan gets a souvenir. Uh, Hard rock. Strike three on Alonzo. Polar Bear goes down again. Got an Italian ice and a helmet. And we got a new perspective of the game. Back in right field. Mets now is in 43. Clinton Park, we're getting out of here. Well, we're back home from St. Lucie. It was an excellent Mets opening weekend road trip. Um, I'm sure folks will probably comment uh, about the, the whole work clock out, et cetera. I was extremely uh, aggravated throughout the winter months and then up till uh, the point of uh, when spring training was supposed to start. We were supposed to be in St. Lucie with the seven line for opening day of spring training. We I booked a trip to New York around the fact that we would be there for opening day for uh, the Mets at City Field. Trip still uh, happening, but Mets game not happening until the following week, so we miss out on that too. Um, I am not excited about the fact of millionaires, uh, millionaire ball players, and millionaire club owners arguing over more money um, when I'm going to a spring training game and seeing the prices of of concessions and tickets and things like that too. Because ultimately, as fans, we're the ones that are caught in the middle. Um, I do love baseball, forever love the Mets, um, forever tied to the Mets coming from Flushing, New York. Um, but the, the whole situation leaves kind of a sour taste in your mouth. But in any event, we had fun this weekend. Uh, thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Let's go Mets. See you guys.